Grace and mercy unto everyone's watching this video. It's your brother Travis and we're here with another video talking on the topic of signs of demonic attack. Now these signs I'm gonna tell you these signs, most of these signs at least, are mostly happening like in the Caribbean and like in Africa. For all my subscribers who are there in probably the UK or America, these things might probably don't happen as intense. When it comes to demonic attacks um like in the caribbean in africa so some of these things um probably you guys have never um experienced but many of these things i've experienced in my life especially when i was younger i used to go to a whole, whole lot of demonic attack and i never knew that there was demonic attack to the point where i unconsciously was accepting these these things <laughs> so we're going to talk about some of these demonic attacks we have like eight signs of demonic attacks and they can be so much more so so much more but these are things um that are happening and many people it happened to them to the point where they can accept it not knowing that these are demonic in children in their life and it can be caused for many reasons many reasons um and many, many people are going through these things thinking that they're probably probably that like they're crazy Probably something is wrong with them, but nothing is wrong with you. If you're going through any of these, these are actually demonic attacks. And you should be seeking deliverance. You should be seeking to draw closer to God on your walk, whenever you see these things happen. Because no, uh, I tell you, no witchcraft, no obia man, no, no traditional way of doing things to get rid of demons will actually get rid of demons. No walking back way, no spinning your roll, no breaking the coconut. Nothing like that will actually deliver you from demonic attacks. It will actually bring more demonic attacks on you. Um, the only way is through Christ. And um, the only way we can truly be delivered is, it, delivered is from God. And we need spiritual people to pray for us, to pray with us. Sometimes fast for us and fast with us to help us to rid um, ourselves from some of these demonic attacks. So let's go over it. Eight signs of demonic attacks. Uh, number one. Number one, sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis. Now, sleep paralysis is kind of universal because this happened all over for most people. When I when I did, when I when I hear videos on people in America and in um, the U the UK and so on Canada, they will have sleep paralysis. So this one is very universal. But it's actually a demonic attack when you feel like something hold you down at the bed and cannot move. Um, in science, scientists would naturally tell you that you're going to a half sleep and half wake state, but that's not the truth. It's actually a demon holding you down, a, a spirit, or what we would call in Jamaica a dopey, actually holding you down. So that's a sign of a demonic attack. Now, sign number two of a demonic attack is hearing voices. Hearing voices. Many people. Hearing the voices. Many people go through this very intense. When I was younger, um, I used to hear voices as well. Um, I can remember when uh, once when we were young, we were playing in this, this, this what we would call a tenement yard in Portland, Port Antonio, Portland. And I remember I was playing one night and I went up on a step in the dark and something actually was speaking in my ears. You know, <clears throat> and I've heard people. I've even been, been around people who say that they hear voice to the point where the voice is telling them clearly to even kill themselves, telling them how to, be, to do certain things so they say they can hear the voice clear as day, as if it's a man talking to them. And so when you're hearing voices, it's a sign of a spiritual attack. Sometimes you hear like your name being called, like someone calling your name <clears throat> and there's no one there. So you know, if you need Pookie, you hear, you hear somebody say Pookie. <laughs> and so, if hearing voices like hearing somebody call your name or you just you know something is talking to you or whatever and yet there's no one really there physically that's kind of a spiritual attack i mean like a name calling this can be that someone is at an altar projecting certain witchcraft off you so hearing voices number two number three is hearing pots and pans now this one is very prevalent in the Caribbean where people hear pots and pans like in the kitchen you hear like the pots and the pans and the plates and everything turn over as if something turned it over 
or something is just taking them up and dropping it, taking them and dropping them. When you go there, everything is in order, everything is intact. That's a that's a sign of a real demonic intrusion, probably in your house, probably in your life, right? So you hear your pots and pans, the sign of demonic attack. Number four, hearing footsteps. When I was young, I used to hear this one very, very much. And um, I, when I was living in Portland, I used to hear heavy footsteps on the veranda. Man, that piece was really demonic. I used to hear heavy, heavy footsteps on the veranda when I was living in Portland. When I used to sleep at night, you see these heavy footsteps as if someone is just, you know, some giant is um, coming, you know, in the house, trying to come in the house. I used to hear those things. On a consistent basis to the point where it seemed like it was actually a normal thing hearing heavy footsteps until that that place was very demonic and demon de- demon possessed and as I, as I grew older and I started to talk to other young people that was living in that yard you know many of them was experiencing similar things too many of them was experiencing similar things I, I used to even see spirits when I was younger as you could see them um, some would come in the form of a child or something like that so I used to see them. It was a sign of a demonic attack. You only hear footsteps. So sometimes you can hear those footsteps on your house top as well. Yeah, like something's walking on your house top. As I say, most of these are mostly in the Caribbean. For those who are in the US who are watching this or in the UK, you can let me know if you um, have heard anything like this. I anybody tell you that they experience anything like this um, over your side of the world. So that's number four. Hear footsteps. Number five is you feel the presence. Of a, you're feeling the feeling of an evil presence when you feel you literally feel a presence but you know that presence is not a good presence you can know it based on what you feel in your body when you feel like an evil wicked presence you know that you're under a demonic attack you know that some demonic though some demonic spirit is set against you or set upon you to bring extreme fear in your life you know fear let me tell the people we're not made a spirit of fear, and so if we are put in a place where we, can't, we have to be in constant fear, it's like we give we're giving way to the devil. Uh, then, so that's number five. You're feeling an evil presence. Number six, knocks on the door. <laughs> when you hear somebody, you hear like somebody actually knock on your door, but there's nobody there. It's a spirit. It's actually a spirit. When you hear a knock on the door. Demonic attack. Do not think you're crazy. Do not think that you're out of your mind. Do not think that probably you're tired. Do not, do not, do not get intellectual. Do not go off in your mind, being intellectual and trying to be psychological. It's something spiritual. So it's a demonic attack. When you knock on the door. Number seven. This one is really important. Extreme clumsiness. Extreme clumsy. Or extreme clumsy. Which should be extreme clumsy. Clumsiness. It's when a person is, is extremely clumsy, even if you are extremely clumsy, where it's like almost everything that you're doing, you're actually hurting yourself. That's a demonic attack, people. It's like if you take up a knife and knife cut you, you're constantly lick your knee, you're constantly lick your elbow, you're constantly poke your head. And it's like it's just something that constantly is happening, 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 happening. You're like constantly hurting, you're hurting yourself. It's like you can't, can't even get, get a grip of your own self. That's a demonic attack. That's actually a demonic attack, people. So even when um, all the people, you know, you see your kids move, moving clumsy, you should be praying for that, for that, for that child, your children. Um, if you see children clumsy all the time, knocking over things, hurting themselves all the time, you should be praying for them. You should not be speaking more clumsiness upon them, saying that they're clumsy and that they're stupid. You should actually be praying for them because they, they, can, they can be an, an, under a demonic attack and you're there speaking down, speaking down on them. Um, just to bring them more down into depression and so on. So extreme clumsiness. So it's very important to take note of people. Extreme clumsiness. And the last one, but not the least one that I have for this one is a hard, hard time understand. I want to put understanding. Yeah. So hard time to understanding. When somebody have a hard time to understand, it's not that they're just dumb like that. It's not that they're stupid or something like that. It can be a spirit upon them. That is causing them not to truly understand. It's like no matter what you're saying to them, they can't understand it. It cannot, they cannot really comprehend it. 
and you can see this mostly in like people who this you know we say that we are, they're, they're insane or something is wrong with them mentally or whatever it's something spiritual so you can have a person that is quote unquote insane and you tell them to do that and they do it otherwise and you say you know go and get this done and then when you say didn't you hear me it's like they're just like you know that's the, that's the way they behave when a person has a hard time understanding anything no matter what you how you're explaining things it can be a, it can definitely be a demonic attack upon them and their mind and so when you see things happening to people don't just judge people and call them stupid don't just judge people and call them an idiot don't just judge people and just, just judging people based off what you see physically demonstrated it can be that there's a spirit upon that person that is dumping their mind as actually causing them not to have, not, not to have any full understanding so these are some of the signs people of demonic attacks we're gonna recap number one sleep paralysis number two hearing voices number three hear pots and pans number four you hear footsteps number five the feeling of an evil presence number six knocks on the door number seven extreme clumsiness and number eight hard time understanding these are just some of the signs people if you know any other signs you can definitely leave it in the comment section there for all those who are just watching this for the first time ensure that you like skip that dislike share this out and also subscribe for all those who have always been here thank you for your support the youtube channel is growing and i'm grateful for that and i'm just praying that this may reach more people to help them on this walk to become more aware of the devil and his devices and also to strive to fight the good fight of faith um, in the body of Christ. So blessings to you all and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.